Hello community, let's have a look at GPT-4 Omni Mini. This brand new Mini came out today. We are here at LMC's Chatbot Arena and we are here using now here this beautiful opportunity to upload here an image. And as you see, simple image, Model A, Model B. I will show you that Model B is our GPT-4 Omni Mini and Model A is Gemini 1.5 Pro API 0514. So let's have a look what the system tell us. Gemini goes, a donut chart, proportion of each task category as a slide. Yeah, okay. Likely stems from a data analyzing professional tool using patterns. Yeah, Excel at 12.6%. This is it. So this is not famous. But look at this, our little GPT-4 Omni. Have a look. Pie chart illustrating distribution of various professional tool used for data related task. Tool and percentages, Excel, ServiceNow, Airbyte, Metabase, JupyterLab, Snowflake. And then we have tools like DBT, Daxter and BigQuery. All three at 8.1%, let's check this. BigQuery. Daxter, DBT, 8.1%. It's sorted even here, the donut elements. Nice. Category of the task, traditional processing. Yes, 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 this is correct. Scientific content, data processing. It now explains here for each category what it is. So nice. Data warehousing, storing and managing large volumes of data. Snowflake and BigQuery are key players in the field, providing scalable cloud solution. Data analysis and visualization, Metabase Jupyter Lab, beautiful conclusion, emphasizes there were tools available for data management and analysis. I have to tell you, GPT-4 Omni for the cheap price, real nice. Anything in this specific task, it is better than Gemini 1.5 Pro API. Let's go on. Here we have Model A, Model B. Thinking, yes, both are thinking, and here we go, yippee! Okay, still thinking, still thinking, yeah, nice, conclusion, done. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, we are here, rope-based extrapolation. Can you explain the scientific content of the image? What is the meaning of all of it? Mathematical theorem called, yes, rope. How to improve extrapolation performance of rope-based LLMs by adjusting the parameter pre-trained LLM. T train, D extra, okay, the base, fine tuning with a context length, yes, critical base, upper bound is calculated using equations 13, which depends on beta and D extra, yeah, okay, beta and D extra, yes, uh, theorem also noted, yes, the theorem is fulfilled natural, as it provides a mathematical framework for improving the performance of LLMs, particularly the ability to handle longer sequences of text than they were originally trained on. Model B. Rope, rotary position embedding LLMs, key components, rope based LLMs, yes, context length and tune the context length used during the fine tuning phase, the initial phase, critical base, beta zero, a threshold determined by the training and tuning length, extrapolation performance. It states that if the base parameter beta exceeds a critical value, the extrapolation behavior can be defined by specific equation involving the context length and dimension. Equation 12 gives the formula for the critical base. Equation 13 specifies the beta. Equation 14 applies if the beta is not greater than beta zero. Equation 15, implication, framework for understanding how adjustments, conclusion, Mathematical foundation for optimizing rope-based LLM refrigerator adjustments. And I have to tell you, I like B better. I don't know about you, but it gives me here the equation 12, 13, 14, 15 and explains all of this to me. So for me, B is better. What do you think? Hey, GPT-4 Omni Mini is better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Oh my goodness. Now all the Claude enthusiast will be saying no 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 our sonnet is better no gpt4 omni mini is real nice and is real cheap i mean look at the prices hey let's do a new round this is funny okay so i have a new 
image and as I explain the scientific content and provide some technical insights in the complete operational system deducted from the still image. So I try to cheat a little bit and pretend that this is a still image. Let's see what's happening. What system is able to understand what's going on here? By the way, this is from my last video about a network of AI agents that cooperate. Wow. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's start with A. Operational structure of a system called Atom Agents. Yes, advanced color framework, leveraging multiple AI agents to tackle complex tasks. Yes. Core agents. Yes. Tools. Ah, this is interesting. Look, he kind of agglomerated this. The knowledge retrieval tool, the plot analyzing tool, the planning tool, the coding tool, the computation tool. It got all the tools right here. You see it collected here the tools, the planning tool and the coding tool. Oh, it sorted it out. Nice. And then memory structure. We have a tool memory for every tool and a core memory for our centralized hub. LLM-based agents. Natural language. Yeah, dynamic collaboration. Real-time collaboration among agents. Multi-objective optimization, yes. Interoperability, okay. Applied in scientific research, engineering, data visualization. Yeah, okay, it's, it's, it's okay, it's correct. Model B, scientific content, agents, multiple AI agents, each presenting a specific role of function. Tools, agents leverage specialized tool to perform specific tasks. Hexagonal shapes containing pairs of agents, okay, core memory, knowledge sharing, tool memory, expertise, collaboration, communication, yeah, errors communicate, disk and response, uh, problem solving, and simplified representation of the problem solving process where agent and tools work together, yes, LLM based, yes, dynamic environment, multi-objective code generation, yes, a little bit is B better, a little bit. Oh no, now Gemini 1.5 Flash wins here against GPT-4 Omni Mini. Ah, oh, that, that hurts. Let's do a regenerate. Let's do this again. Let's see if we can cheat a little bit. But Gemini 1.5 Flash, it's again this 1.5 Flash. I always encounter this model that is really nice here. So let's just look at GPT-4. Omni Mini, is it any better now? Example, the sophisticated integration of AI agents, each designed to perform a specific task while collaborating effectively, leveraging specialized tools and maintain a shared memory structure. The system can efficiently address complex challenges, valuable asset and research. Tools, no, it is more or less the same. Okay, not bad, not bad. So let's go here with this, as I summarize the scientific content here of this and explain the relations between the main terms. So let's see if it's able to find out what's going on here. Thank you, Alan Sis, for providing this. So we are in real time, not cutting anything. You see, this is the real performance. Wow, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Jupiter Lab, yes, there is now. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think we start with A. Vera software application used for data warehousing, data integration, data transformation, data analysis and visualization, data orchestration, IT service management. Okay, data warehousing, yes. Ingestion, yes. Transformation analysis. Okay, real nice, yeah. Provides an overview of different software application and their role in data management and analysis ecosystems, highlighting their key functionalities. Nice. Let's look here at system B. Wow. Used in Spider 2 Vision. Yes, this is correct. Yeah, this was not detected here. This is the framework, the new Spider 2 Visual extended version, categorizing them by the functionality as data warehousing. Yes. Cloud, Snowflake. Yes. So they give a much more detailed insight here. Cloud based, meta based subset, Daxter, Airflow, Jupyter Lab, Excel. ServiceNow, daily applications, yeah, really nice, yeah. 
Hey, relations between the main term. Do we have this? No. Data words can be ingested and integrated using tools like Airbyte, data transformation tools like dbt and dbt cloud process and prepare data stored in the warehouses for analysis create inside visual representation data processing managing nice b is definitely better what do you think hey again gpt4 omni now the real full-fledged gpt4 omni i have to tell you it is better than cloud3 sonnet 